And basically what he what James is doing is he's talking about what kind of what kind of profit is going to come from your faith. Okay? You don't grasp it, you don't hold it, you don't grab onto it. Let me show you this cuz I'm not sure if he's using echo or some other word. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's favoritism, and it's echo. Okay, great. He's using echo here. Echo means to grab, to hold, to, to master. Okay? Don't, don't use your faith with favoritism. All right? Oh, that just drives me nuts. Don't use favoritism. Don't use your faith as an occasion. You know, don't use the word for favoritism. All right? Don't abuse the word to make favorites. All right? Use your investment, the investment God is making in you by putting the word in you to do the royal law, which we just saw down here. All right? So God invests in you, and now you invest the word that's in you, all right, to do the royal law. And then we saw, you know, don't show partiality. You're basically breaking the law of liberty, all right, right here. Because mercy triumphs over judgment, and if you're not using the royal law to do that, if you're being merciless, like to the poor, because you've shown no mercy, then God's judgment, this means that the Bema, is going to be merciless to you. All right, so now he's, got, he's putting the straw man in, starting in verse 14, because the straw man's going to look at this and say, well, okay, fine, I've got this word in me. I'm hearing the word. The word's implanted in my soul. I've been mouthing it every Saturday since before I was saved. Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad. But I'm not getting any money for it. So James is starting on that. Because why? Because he brought it up. See? That's his theme, baby. Right here. Okay? Gold ring, fine clothes. Crown of Life, first, you know, chapter 112. Okay, now, baby. Oh, I love the way he does this. Okay. So, we just saw what Ophelos, what Ophelos, what prophet is it? All right. If someone says he has faith, the word, oh, but there's no works. There's no, it's not doing anything. Okay? And that's the point he's making here. Is the word that's in you profiting you? Remember, he's talking to Jews who have the word in their mouth every Saturday. That's how they did it. They would cite a portion of scripture every Saturday. That's how you had shul. Still, even to this day, that's how they had shul. Shul means school. Okay? We call it church. All right? Faith. Word. In you. Okay, but... It's not going to produce any works if all it's doing is sitting there. What's the profit if it doesn't do, if the word believed? Remember? James 1 3. If the word, what if someone says he has the word, the word in him? Oh, but there are no works. Okay? And here, the reason why you know it's the word's work, see that word? Now we're now you're going to get to see the prophet from what I was talking about earlier. That's erga. Ergon is the is the vocabulary form. There's no definite article. Okay, that means it's God's works. These works here are not human works because there's no definite article here. It's stressing divine quality. See, so in English we should say, well, if someone says he has faith, okay. That's the word in him. That's here. And notice this is an arthrus too. Aeon, peace team. There's no definite article. That should have a tain there. It should, it should say tain peace team. But it's an arthrus. There's no the. He's talking about the word believed. Only the word believed is divine quality. I hope you get that. Your faith before or after salvation is not divine quality. The quality is always in the object of faith. And here the object is in view. Just like it was in James 1.3. Peace team. It's not saying tain peace thing. All right? So, what if someone says, Oh, I have the word believed. Yeah, every Jew did. It was in his mouth. But then he has no 
and it's not just any old works it's divine works because again the article is missing it should say Tyerga but it's not saying Tyerga it's saying Erga without the Ta the Ta would be the definite article so he's talking about divine work so if someone says he has the divine word in him but he has no divine works can that divine word save him no of course he can't not if it's just in his mouth and in his memory you see it's real important to know that he's writing to Jews here because that was the practice of the Jews they always had the word in their mouth they always had the word in their memory okay but they didn't believe in it all right so the word just in your memory isn't going to save you you have to believe it see what a difference it makes when you know what faith means see he has the word but he has no divine works coming from that word yeah he's not going to because he doesn't believe in the word that's in his mouth and in his head just like uh, Paul was saying in Romans 10 10 you call him Lord Adonai Eloheinu means Jesus is Lord that's the Shema in, in Israel they say it every Saturday okay but if you don't believe it then you got no divine works so can that divine word Adonai Eloheinu Jesus Christ is God which is Deuteronomy 6 4 the Lord is our God well is that gonna save them no because they don't believe it you see very different perspective from what you hear Christians say huh and the reason we know is because this doesn't have the word ta in front of it and this doesn't have the word tain in front of it it's not talking about your faith it's talking about divine word because otherwise the t the tain would have to be there for it to even possibly mean you it's talking about the word in you okay and then that would have to be ta erga in order to reference your works but it's God's works that that James is talking about because look which works are going to be more profitable he's talking about profit right he's talking about the crown of life is it going to be your faith that's more profitable or God's word which is more valuable is it going to be your works that are valuable or are God's works more valuable duh you don't even have to answer that okay alright so it looks like I gotta stop again and we'll pick this up in the next episode